Hello everyone, thanks for joining me on Stubble Meat Steel. So I'm excited to bring you today's review of these two awesome razors. These are two really, really iconic everyday shavers that a lot of guys probably ask, you know, which one should I get? You know, and, and you'll read and guys love them both. And that is the Carve Overlander and the Yates Merica. This is the titanium version, and obviously this is the brass version. They do offer them in various different metals. This is just what I have. Uh, I have them both loaded up with a Gillette 7 o'clock, a 7 o'clock sharp edge, which is the yellow package. I find those the sharpest and smoothest of the bunch. And I find that with the Yates Merica, um, I need a sharp blade to get BBS in it. And so let's, uh, let's compare these two gray razors and see, is there a huge difference between them? Is there anything that I like uh, one or over the other? And you know, what differences, if any, are there? I've used the Overlander a few times, an awesome viewer and friend loaned it to me and I'm been using it a few times now to see how I like it. Compare it to a couple other things. I want to compare it to a bunch of other razors that I've got. For today's soap today, I've got Jordan's. This was a really fun one. This is their cola and for me, it's a really, really fun scent because it smells more like the natural cola nut scent, but it also captures the fizziness. Or effervescence of the soda there. So yeah, it's a super fun scent. And I set up an affiliate program with them. And so uh, my viewers, if you guys want to check them out, use uh, code uh, STUBBLEMEATSTEEL for 25% off. They have a lot of great scents. They have this cold one. I have the apple pie one. I also have the lemon one and then the new summer ale one. So let's get going. I'll use the uh, overlander on this side of my face. Very nice first pass with the Overlander. Very nice first pass. It felt like maybe, just maybe, the America had the tiniest bit more blade feel to it. Overlander side feels closer on this part of my face, but on the neckline, I pretty much feel the same. All right, let's do against the grain on my neck. All 
I've been wanting to try the Overlander for a long time. So I'm quite thrilled to have this opportunity to check it out, see what it's all about. These two would be my favorite class of razors. That smooth daily day, daily driver, daily use razor that are nice and forgiving, but still efficient. I used more medium aggressive razors yesterday, so I wanted to use something kind of smoother and forgiving today. Both felt very good there. Again, felt like maybe the Yates had a tiny bit more blade feel to it. Still very comfy though. If you ride the top cap, it definitely kind of smooths it what little bit of blade feel it has out. I'm trying to just give everybody the play by plays as I feel them or notice them. Jordan's is really slick, took on a lot of water in the bowl lather that I did. I really like it with this Razor Rock Beehive brush. My wife wanted me to whip her up a lather yesterday. And I used her brush with the Jordans and it worked really well, so. Forget I'd use it again. All right, let's go across the grain on my neck and face. Both razors felt nice there. Again, I would have to say that it felt like the Merca had a little more blade feel to it. Love the smell of this soap. It's a really good one for me. It reminds me of this gourmet soda uh, called Sprecher. They make a Puma Cola and uh, 
It smells just like it. I wish I had the matching splash. I have another brand's uh, yep, Macduff's root beer one. I was going to use that with it. But Jordan's just started making a non-alcohol based aftershaves. Let me clean up under my nose. All right, let's spray down and see how things feel. This is just water, people always like to ask. <laughs> it's just water in a, what they call a continuous spray bottle. If I really, really search, there's a tiniest bit right here on the overlander side. There's a lot more left here on the Yates side. All right, let me get cleaned up and I'll go over these two razors. All right, everybody, I'm back. So what do I think of these two iconic daily shaving razors that a lot of people are you know, asking about or a lot of people who are curious how they compare head to head? Well, I have to say, I was kind of surprised. You know, I don't really feel that the Yates America has what I would consider excessive blade feel or anything like that by any means, but compared to the Overlander, I felt the Overlander was a little bit smoother and a little more forgiving blade feel wise. Um, and the more ironic thing to me was that the Overlander seemed like it was more efficient. It was pretty much VBS with the uh, sharp blades that I put in here, the uh, sharp edge blades. There was pretty much no pickup there. So it was both smoother and more efficient. So, you know, it kind of depends on what you like. If you like a razor that's got a little bit more blade feel, you might, you might prefer the Merca over the uh, feel of the Overlander. I don't want to say that this is boring because it's not. It does have a little bit more blade feel than what I was expecting. Uh, I would say compared to like the uh, Ellsworth Apex, I would say this has more blade feel to me than that, but I'll probably wind up comparing those two head to head and then I'll be able to tell. But, you know, comparing these two, it's just really personal preference. It seems like, the, again, there is a little bit more efficiency with the Overlander, just a tiny bit. So if you're looking for a daily shaving razor that's a little bit more 
forgiving but also very efficient. I think you'd really like the uh, the Overlander. These are both fantastic razors. I, I enjoy the Yates anytime I use it. It's one of my go-to razors for when I want uh, just a you know uh, effortless, easy shave, a BBS shave that I know isn't going to irritate me. This is one of my go-to picks. I love that it's got the cool magnet in the bottom, rinses out really cool. I like the titanium uh, look. It rinses out very, very easy as far as uh, the uh, soap residue and stuff rinses out super easy off the titanium. Um, Price-wise, obviously, there's a big difference if you were to get the titanium, costs a lot more. I got a smoke and deal on this one used, but stainless steel-wise and brass-wise, they're very, very comparable price-wise if you were to uh, be considering the price difference between the two. But I really enjoyed the shape of both of these. I have to say that uh, I'm definitely considering getting an Overlander. It's definitely a really, really nice razor. I'm torn as to what I would like if I would want to go with the brass or the uh, aluminum offerings. I like all the different handles that they offer for it as well. So... Um, really enjoyable razors. I, I really like them both. I don't really think that you could go wrong with either one. It kind of just depends more on what your personal preference is. I find that the angle is a little bit easier to find and work with on the, uh, <coughs> on the <coughs> excuse me, on the carve option versus the uh, Yates. It has, it really, really wants the handle almost parallel with your face and it has a little bit more of a narrow, harder to work with uh, shaving angle. It's not locked in like some other razors, but just compared to the Overlander, the Overlander angle was easier to find and to work with. So very, very impressive. I'd like to compare the uh, Yates Mirica to the 921 uh, base plate and see how that compares. I know that's a common question, you know, how much more aggressive is the 921 over the Mirica? And I'd also like to compare the Overlander to maybe the, uh, the Apex or something like that. So a bunch of new videos coming. So a bunch of new videos come in, stay tuned for all that. And again, if you haven't tried the Jordan soap or you just want to check them out and uh, get 25% off, use Stubble Me Steel for that. Check out my info section below. I've got some razors for sale. I've also got 10% off on uh, Pasteur's Pharmacy and some other links and stuff in there. So check all that stuff out. Look forward to talking to everybody in the comments. I'll see everybody soon. Take care.